Welcome to Walter Doodle's Art. I'm Walter and I want to thank you for joining me uh, in a new video here. I am going to do some art. I'm going to use something I did in my last video uh, with this book. This was given to me by a friend, Carrie Drost. I believe it's onion skin that's in here. Um, I did a first preliminary piece of artwork and I really enjoyed what it was. It was with brush and sumi ink and I liked the way it came out. But today I'm going to do something different and I'm really going to do something different for me. I have noticed a little something. I don't know if it will show up on the camera but over time there is a little bit of shadows that come from the other side. I don't know if that it appears on the camera but that's something that's good to know about this uh, sketchbook. To, yesterday was um, Connie and my 17th wedding anniversary and she gave me something. I do not know what brand it is. I couldn't see it anywhere on the packaging or any of that kind of stuff but it's this. Dual tip brush pens. And let me show you what we've got here. There's 24 colors. They look quite vibrant. I haven't tested these out. Um, I do have another set, but we have some friend, uh, a friend who has some kids, and they kind of we allowed them to just play with it, and they've been lost and all this kind of stuff. So this one is just for me. But as you can see, there there just doesn't appear to be on there any brand name. So I have no idea. I have very little experience with this type of um, medium. Uh, I don't use markers very much. I do have some. I need to maybe get used to using them. My problem is is that I love black and white and really not super super colorful uh, when it comes to drawing. When I do painting I go ahead and I use a lot of color. But I, I have not really gotten there with drawing. But what we've got is on one side we have, this is called a brush pen and it is a nice flexible tip and it leaves a pretty good line. Yes, I know I'm always getting ink on my hands. But the other side, it's almost as if it was a mechanical pen. Really, really fine tip. I have some other pens that are like that, um, a bunch of them by uh, Pigma. They're called Pigma pens, and they are just a little bit different in thicknesses and, and a lot of black. I do have a full set of them that uh, come in colors. Uh, those are really fun to use. I haven't really done much with the colors, but I'm going to go ahead. I've got got my pens. And in this drawing, my plan is I'll start with the black and I'll work my way all the way across. And I plan to use each pen um, a little bit with, uh, you know, the both the fine tip pen and the brush side. So um, that's the plan. I have no idea what it's going to turn out to be. I have not planned out what I'm going to do with it other than that. So I've got that. I've got my book got my bottle of water I am set up to start drawing now I just need to set the camera up so I will see you on the flip side and uh, we'll do a drawing real quick I'll talk to you then bye here we are we're starting on this drawing with the pens I did not go in the order of the colors as they were laid out in the tray um, I found out very quickly that I just I knew I wasn't going to do that when I even said it I'm not sure why I said it uh, there's a uh, two drawings that are actually going to be shown in this video but I don't have the video of the second drawing I do have a scan of it for some reason it said it was an hour or something long but it only captured the last 13 seconds which is where I was closing the book up so that really doesn't show anything so it won't be here I did two drawings for a reason. When I started this drawing, I started this on the 23rd of November. 
And I got to a point where I was like, I don't know if I want to continue, and I'll explain why in just a bit. But the next morning I woke up and I thought, all right, let's finish it out. You had a goal to use all the pins, both sides, and I did do that. But I had a couple problems here with this. Uh, first thing is markers, at least these markers on this paper, uh, feathered a lot. I didn't see any bleed through on the other side of the page, but it did feather and kind of spread, especially the darker colors. Um, the other problems I've had, I, I these really are vivid colors. I'm not used to that. I like black and white. I like more subdued stuff uh, as far as that color impact. When I'm painting, I'm okay with it, but I'm just not used to markers. The other problem I had here was the lighter colors would pick up the darker colors when you were drawing next to them, and then it would make that lighter color kind of muddy. And uh, I don't know if part of my problem with this whole thing was uh, because this is a doodle and not really a planned out art piece as far as some kind of an image. The second drawing is pretty much. However, it still doesn't complete uh, my tastes in drawing. So neither one of these drawings are what I consider fantastic. However, uh, I did complete both of them, used all the pens. I rearranged the pens in the second drawing so that I had all the lighter colors on one side, the more vivid colors and darker colors on the other. And that way I had, and I made color swatches before I even started. So I had an idea of what color I was really picking up. I'd pick up some of these pens and the cap would not be the color that the pen was putting out. The other problem I had with this drawing before I finished it was something that it reminded me of a childhood thing we'd do in school where you'd just do swirls and you'd create a bunch of circular and whatever shapes and then you'd color in all those shapes with crayons afterwards. Um, this particular drawing started feeling like that on the second day when I was trying to finish it up a lot. Uh, just to get all the pens in. I think I just overdid it when I first started and uh, filled in way too much of the page. So I really didn't have a lot of things to choose from once I got to the end of the drawing. And you can see here it's starting to get pretty full and now I'm going to pick up new colors and where do I put them? Well, it just kind of became that type of a thing and I, I don't know. That's not really something I wanted to do. I sometimes will not finish a drawing or a painting. I'll get so far and I'll look at it and I'll go, just not working, and so I'll abandon it. This one I didn't do that with. I didn't abandon it. Anyway, here I am finishing up on it, and you're going to see a scan of the finished drawing. And I mean, it's okay, but it is so vivid, vibrant colors, and this just isn't my style. Now the second drawing's coming up. You won't see the drawing process, but you'll see the picture. And I liked it a little better. Again, I used all the pens, both sides, but I had something in mind and I put the pens in a certain order so that I wouldn't put light pens on top of dark pens. And I did not get all of that smearing, smudging, muddy colors that were with it. And this one, I like this one. I'm not in love with it, but it's okay. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Love you.